And welcome back. This is Kotel for another War Rights event. I hope you all had a good week. It is Friday, so we got a Southern Aggression match for you. It is in Eastwoods. We got 232 currently in the server pop. 117 on the CSA and 118 on the Union. They had to do a last minute bouncing, but it looks like it worked. So, um, with that said, let's take a look at these two teams. They are live at 43, so. I'll be a little quick on this. We have the 4th West Virginia here under Colonel Lightburn, the Pathfinders. We've got 19th Indiana here under One Army. You've got MWB under Captain Major Willie Stone. You've got NYV under Parker. We have the 12th New Jersey under Colonel Atomic, a new unit to the event, so good to see him in there. You've got 42nd here under Captain Hood. We've got the EB under Captain Red Bull. And the 79th NYH under Mr. Ricks. I believe that is everybody. If I missed anybody, I do apologize. Let us take a look at the CSA team here right before they go live. They have on their team PB under Legion. HL under Macabre. We've got First on Caddy leading the 83rd Pennsylvania. Ninth Corps under Big Chungus. We've got, let's see, MSG under Slippin' Jimmy. We've got the 20th Georgia under Gonzo. The 1st VA under 1st Sergeant Connor. The 123rd under Danson, who uh, had to bounce over. Appreciate it. The 10th Tennessee under Colonel Knight. And that is everyone. We are live at 43. By the way, um, I have left links in the description to the units that I have there Discords for if you would like me to add uh, your unit that's in the events to the, that listing, just DM me um, your permalink for your Discord and I will add you to the list. Uh, quick overview on the map CSA spawn, point of contention, and Union spawn is. Bad. It's along the road. Let me see if I can find the road. Here's the road. It's back here. All right, we are off. There's no Artie, so we don't have to worry about that. We'll see where the CSA wants to wait the attack and where the Union wants to set up to defend. This is traditionally a difficult map for the Union. Now, they have reset the timer to 10 seconds um, for this respawn rate, so we will just to be advised that that is in play. Uh, let's see. So far, it looks like we've got... I'm trying to make sense of what this looks like here. Looks like they're waiting a good portion to this right side here. Another sector here on the center, kind of as a reserve. And another force going off to the left here. But the CSA is massing all in a single direction here on the right. I like this maneuver here by the CSA. HL is in the lead here. They may, may be able to uh, defeat the Union in detail um, if the Union is not careful. But careful. And gets engaged a little bit too early. We will see how this develops here from the bird's eye view. Now, this game is War of Rights. It's available on Steam for 30 US dollars. Uh, while I do recommend it, be uh, just be advised the uh, public servers, specifically the uh, official servers, are not moderated and have descended into Wait, racist um, dog shit. To be frank about it, so just be aware of that. Um, some of the other public servers, though, are modded, which is good. And then the private events, many of them are moderated as well, including this event. So that's why I'm able to cover it. You see, it looks like another Union element is rotating out to this far side, but there's no CSA over here. That is Hood with the 42nd. Again, I like the concentration here by the CSA here. We'll see what they choose to do here. They've the kind of slowed up, and that has given time for the 4th West Virginia and the 19th Indiana to kind of set up here. And we see some early engagements here. There's Hood possibly looking to get behind the CSA line. We'll see what the CSA wants to do. I think they might be looking to try to flank even further around. But uh, they're going to need all their... they got to be careful not to get isolated here and spread out. It's very hard for me to cover in the woods, and it's even harder for these guys to see. So I'm going to do my best to kind of see what's going on. You see, I, I like this. Again, I, I do like this move by the CSA. I'm not sure about leaving this element out here. I'm not quite sure what the purpose is of that. 
But stay in mass together and trying to find the Union flank, I think, is a good idea. Let's see if Hood, he might come up against an early engagement here. Against, looks like, 83rd and 9th Corps here. Try to get an angle on it. Damn trees in the way, bushes in the way. So 42nd is not going to get decisively engaged. They're going to take a couple shots and fall back here. So 9th Corps has maintained, and along with 83rd, that rear guard action, if that is the uh, objective for them. Again, we see a bit of a massing here for the CSA, but now you can see how strung out they are. And it's going to be much more difficult, I think, to coordinate. So I think they lost some of that mass that they had there. And the Union is pretty well concentrated over here. We'll see what the CSA chooses to do. So far, the Union team doing a good job of wasting time. We're at 38 minutes, and really very little damage is done. Looks like HL is going to try to move up a little bit. Joined by 1st VA and 123rd. This appears to be the main striking force for the CSA. They are facing off against the 19th Indiana, the NYV, and the MWB. Oh, to Parker, business, business. Parker. Left shoulder, on my left shoulder, gentlemen and gentle ladies. Northwest Virginia over there as well. Anything you see move, any smoke is enemy. Fired by company, A. Aim. Steady. Fire. Oh, no. Couple good shots there. I think Hood is actually doing the. Well, well, let's see now. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure if they got it decisively engaged or if these guys just retreated. I kind of might have missed that. I don't see the 83rd anymore. Did they respawn? Got SR out here. You got some of 9th Corps out here. Yep, okay. So Hood was able to wipe out the 83rd and the. Um, 9th Corps, and he has now gotten behind the CSA line here. Now, this is good. Um, the danger, of course, is if the CSA turns on him. But we'll see. It's kind of a high-risk, high-payoff strategy right now. Again, the Union wants to waste time. The CSA wants to make time. Okay. This is 10th Tennessee is on their left right now, but they might not be able to see them. Here they go. And that is what we call in the business an execution. You can hear them shit themselves. 42nd got right behind the 10th Tennessee and hit them hard. Oh, why wow, you got individual Rambos going in? Fuck. Fuck. Okay, Gable. Take it. And another Kill big all, volley boys. from the 42nd. After that second volley, they have ordered in a charge to finish off Colonel Knight and the 10th Tennessee. And they have succeeded at that. But again, if we look at the tickets. You know, it's it's about even, even with that successful attack here. And to keep in mind that ticket balance here, and they're falling a little bit behind, but still at 35 minutes, that is not bad. Here's the danger if you start losing control now. And if MSG, for example, hits you. This is the big danger here, is if they lose control of this element here. You see, 40 seconds getting a little fractured here, and you got a danger of the nice core and 83rd coming up behind. Who is this over here? It's the MSG Missouri State Guard slipping Jimmy. And 40 seconds going to continue this attack here and knock out the MSG. Now, again, as much as these attacks are somewhat working here, you can see how small 
the 42nd is becoming and how fragment well you got ricks out here it's kind of camping the flag but that's very dangerous all the way out there by himself that's a lot of tickets they might give up so and in fact here this is the 83rd and 9th corps coming up let's see what caddy if he can catch ricks here for 15 tickets the yeah, there was a couple. There's. Epa fire. Northwest, There's northwest. Smoke. Northwest, northwest. Get that flag and pull it back to the friendly. There was five. There's ten. Hold, hold, hold. Get that flag. Hold. That's Nothing the danger. Hold. You can do these little things, but if you get caught, it becomes a big problem. And again, you got 40 seconds trying to move out here, but they might get caught now by who is this? HL might have caught them out. And this is really going to hurt 40. Well, are they winning it? Not not really. Again, they're kind of losing their command and control here. And that is leading to a lot of ticket loss here. So I think it was a good idea, but frankly, I think 42nd got a little bit too uh, greedy there and got a little bit too deep. And that is all that's left of them. And these four, again, out of line tickets. Look at the ticket balance right now. Even though there's a strong position here. The Union is kind of pissing away the advantage they had here. Look at all these out of lines now. That first VA is going to eat up here from the 42nd. There's another five. And there's another five. And more importantly, the flag is down. You got greedy. You got greedy. It's like, oh, well, we'll just respond to Maine. I mean, yeah, you will. You're at 32 minutes. You're not at, you know, engaged yet, but you could have been a lot higher now. That was a lot of tickets that kind of between Ricks and 40, the 79th and 42nd that kind of got hit back here. But let us see how the action is going on at the front. Chest high, boys. Tennessee. Fire! Let them feel it, boys. <laughs> Let them feel it, <laughs> boys. Up there to our, uh, See them, gentlemen, west, northwest. Uh, I I'm so fucking stoned, dude. All the way from the west to the right of northwest, so northwest, northwest. Down north, 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 my line right here, boys. Down my line. Chest high. Take aim, boys. Take aim. Tennessee. Tennessee. Fire! Now the Union is starting to slow down this fight, which is good. Rambo, not good. Five tickets there. You can't be Ramboing in the woods like that, man. It, not, not for the Union, especially. Okay. CSA, you can get away with it a little bit more, but as the union, no, you really can't. It, it costs you way too much here. And you're pissing away that advantage that these guys have been working so hard to try to build. Company you win. Yeah, good luck, Harlan. On your trick, let's get Now keep in mind, for this event, this TSA, there's no Steam Chat, so any uh, coordination has to be done through messengers. So I think the Union maintaining strong lines of communication is a good idea. Looks like the 42nd rotated back out to this far right side, at least a part of them. See, now we got a separated element here. we got an NCO leading part of 42nd. Here is the rest of 42nd. I believe they're going to try to recover their flag. Um, I think they need to be a little bit more conservative in how they do their attacks here. They can't get so stuck in that they can't sustain themselves. they got to be a distraction force, not decisively engaged. And we got the Pathfinders from the 4th West Virginia. Take aim, boys. Take aim. Fire! Get your reloads, boys. Get your reloads. 
I do believe there's a flag east. Parker, we're checks when ready, gentlemen. Fire checks fire when fire ready. And South, head it's head like the CSA is slowly starting to rotate along this flank here, and I think that's a really good idea by them to kind of try to stretch out here and, and turn the flank of the Union. Okay, firing by company. Using the smoke to the direct east. Down that hill, direct east. Hey. Now, you may be wondering, the uh, 20, so with the 10 second rule that has happened, there's also a 20% increase in tickets, which adds about 8 minutes, um, or, you know, the, the attackers have about 8 minutes left when you all add it up. Again, out of lines here, guys, this is really bad by the Union. Really bad discipline. I'm, I'm sorry, this is not good. And, and, and I hate to say this, but 40 second, you're one of the main um, culprits of this. But um, the attackers actually have about eight minutes less time than they would in the old system um, with the increase in the ticket. So the attackers actually have to be a little bit more aggressive than they normally would be. Um, or figure another way to win. And the Union, right now, I think... Some exceptions, I think, is doing a good job. Again, I don't oppose... Well, let's see what happens over here. Can 40 second hold this? Come on, squid it. 10 Tennessee. Again, so it looks like SR's in there. I don't think I mentioned SR. And a really good attack by... Mostly the 10th Tennessee. I've seen some other units in here as well. But these are really good tickets that they're getting. Come here, boy. I'm right here with you, Squid. I'm right here with you, brother. You're going to run out of stamina any day now, son. Nah, he had his Wheaties. Oh. Hey, friendly behind you. Friendly behind you. Friendly behind you. Brutish. Turn around, turn around, turn around. That's you not, you. That's not nice, Brutish. Hey, 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 sauce got him. Yeah, five tickets again. We will tend to because we are the NYV. Go on, go on, kill me. I b you can't kill me, hey, I'm, I'm a bad bullets, bitch. So I'm you you guys can't to brace kill me. Yeah, I don't think the CSA is going to win here out shooting it. they got to figure out an angle of attack here somewhere. The Union has given them plenty of opportunities here. Again, a lot of out-of-line tickets here that the 40 seconds given them. Here's 83rd here clearing out some more. And there's the engage at the 26 minutes. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Again, these are big tickets right now. Fives, fives, fives. This is killing the Union right now. Again, I, I don't think... I mean, originally this was okay, but now you can kind of see the Union has blocked it. The CSA needs to rotate and find a new avenue of attack. They have an infiltration route wide open here on the left side, the CSA left. They haven't opted to take it yet. They could absolutely turn the Union flank here with, you know, a decent-sized force of attack. Another five points. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're ready. 25 minutes, a little bit down on engage. You're up on tickets. We'll see where the CSA wants to wait the attack here. Looks like 9th Corps is going in. I think they're going in a little bit too shallow here. I think they need to right try to find us, a boys. flank here. Right in front of us. CSA now hitting engaged. You can see how weak this flank is over here. You've got options. Okay, 42nd. But again, you're getting into these these 
melees here where you're you're getting into these skirmishing and out of line tickets here. This is really tickets, not dummies. good. Thanks for the tickets. He, Thanks he's, for the tickets. Uh, Brutish is light. He's right. Get him, Arbitrary. Get him. Get him. He, he's yeah. right. He's right. I, and again, I think you're going to just continue to flank around here on this other side. The CSA, you can leave a base of fire here. Maybe the HL, PB, 123rd, and, and you know, maybe 10th Tennessee and rotate the rest over to kind of where these guys are and kind of work this flank over here. Here comes Captain Hood again, looking for another angle. He needs to be a little bit more conservative than he's been. Although right now on time, the Union again is doing pretty well. Do we have a direction of fire? Again, I think the CSA is being way too... This attack, you're not getting the tickets you need. They may not realize it because of the out of lines. They may be thinking they're doing more damage than they actually are. Um... And they may not realize how much they're getting out of line. But it looks like they're going for a cap now to stop the clock. I absolutely agree with this. Try to force the Union out into a more open fight and get them to charge and, and get those casualties down. I think that is absolutely the right decision by the CSA. So if that's what they're looking to do right now, and it looks like they're anchored on the 9th Corps and 83rd, and then on this side with the 123rd, HL, 20th, this I absolutely agree with. If you want to stay with this very, you know, kind of standoff fight, this is how you do it. Is that preacher right here? No, oh, it is preacher right here. Oh, good shit. Check. You have an attack going on here? We do. 10th Tennessee and MSG are doing an attack on the flank here. I agree with this. Right, The reason I agree with this right now is this is acting as a spoiler, and that is going to prevent the Union from doing any kind of movement against the flank. And it's also getting some good kills in here as well. So even though that failed, they did a lot of damage. They didn't quite get them down to taking losses, which might be the intent, but I still think that was a good spoiling attack against the Union there. So I think uh, now I'm, I'm liking this reaction here from the CSA. Capping point now. We'll see how well they can hold it. We're about to lie right, boys. About to lie right. Again, we want to look at the overall map. You see the CSA is basically in two clumps here. One clump here, one clump kind of guarding the flank over here. And the Union is basically in one position over here with a couple units scattered out further out. Um, but this is really the main portion of the fight right here. And of course, guys, if you like the videos, always appreciate any likes, subscribes, comments, shares, all that fun stuff. DB to the south, take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Steady. Fire. Reload. Independent fire. Reload. Independent fire. Yeah, so are we. Yep, yep. Everybody's falling back. Everybody's falling back. Do not reload. Keep Press running, gentlemen. Keep running. Press our break to reload. Come on, Dink! Dink. Get out of there, Dink! I wouldn't trust that guy. He's got poor taste in YouTube channel. Whoever said Kotal biggest fan, that is a poor choice, man. Jehovah. That's who you need to watch. He's been busy, though, lately, to be honest. I've seen a couple other people coming up with the YouTube channels, both commentary and just making general videos, so it's always good to see you on the... Uh, or rights front. We got Lightburn, the Pathfinders, 4th West Virginia. Very well disciplined unit. He, uh, Lightburn is actually, I would say, one of the uh, better tactical minds in the game, in my opinion. He's got a small unit, but he, he knows how to use them. And he is especially deadly in woods environments and in conquest environments. 
Yeah, Brutish, that was a mistake. I don't know why you're giving away five tickets like that. But again, the Union, I would say, right now, the big weakness, I would say, for the Union is, you know, we zoom out, is that flank here. You know, they can roll up behind them, and there's really nothing to stop them. Um, and there's a lot of CSA units coming in. I would, if I was a CSA, I would try to maneuver that way. Now, again, there's no steam chat, so they don't exactly know what's going on in the battle. It's a lot easier for me to tell them, you know, say this here, but, um, you know, just keep, I would say for the CSA, keep doing what you're doing. Why pressure? Keep them, keep them off their toes. If you think they're getting ready for a charge, you know, do a spoiling attack like 10th Tennessee and the MSG did. What the hell are they doing? Move up to me. By the way, this is 83rd right now. First Sergeant Caddy is leading them. Um, they are, you see a lot of green because that was the unit I was with for quite a long time. Um, great unit. Plays in mostly weekend events, mostly NA at this point. Um, but they got Artie, they got Infantry, and they, uh, good group of guys. Play a lot of other games still with them, too, so. And this is a good counter charge by EB. 83rd got a, Caddy got him a little bit overextended. And EB saw an opportunity and took him out. There's Tank. Oh, they're going to carry the attack forward here into 10th Tennessee. And that was a decent charge by the EB. Not decent. That was a good charge. I don't know why I'm saying decent. That was a good charge. Oh, that was uh, north. Sorry, that from the north. Break loads about face. Double quick. Right dress. Right dress, guys. Right dress. Right dress. Okay. Right, you're good. You're good. You're good. Where's the, where's my boy? Independent five, front. So seven minutes remaining on this counterattack. A little bit over seven minutes. We got 7.30, yeah. Union is uh, still very slow on taking down the tickets. Once you're loaded, up to Parkster. Right. Eagle Brigade, stay. Eagle Brigade, stay. Hold EB. Independent fire. Use the log for cover. Now, I'm not quite sure I understand the logic of the Union right now. I don't think they're going to shoot the CSA down right now at all. Um, at best, they're, they're doing about even. Right and if they don't lead. recap the point, all they're doing is, you know, A, you're going to risk them succeeding in the cap, or B, they're going to just, you know, even if you do recap, you'll be much lower on tickets. See, now, EB, I like this little attack here, trying to get onto the flank here of the ninth Corps. Let's see if, let's see if uh, Red Bull can pull it off. He went in a little bit shallow here. Although he did. There we go. We're taking losses now. But it's part of a... Yeah, okay, this is good. See, it's part of a big charge here by multiple units. Sorry, Oliver. So EB went in. You also got another charge going on over there. We're going to watch this side over here as Parker comes in to rescue what's left of EB here. And they're going to succeed in that. All right, so let's swing back over here. Where's the charge at? All right, here we go. Here's NYV is now fighting the HL. And NYV's doing a pretty good job here. It looks like they're holding along with support from EB and MWB, I think, is in the mix as well. And that will defeat the HL. Good job by those elements there. Now the CSA is in a pincer, and now the Union needs to hit them with everything they got. Oh, but here's the problem. Oh, I didn't see this. Colonel Knight, great awareness by Knight, getting his men back into the action right away. And he is going to slam into these elements here from behind. A great maneuver here from 10th Tennessee, and it looks like some first VAs with him. Great job by them, and that's going to resecure the point. And now the Union, as you can see, now any that attack is basically over. 
these elements here do not have enough combat power to be able to strike in and actually defeat this. So honestly, right now, they better off kind of pulling back a little bit and reconsolidating. Four minutes, 30 remaining on this counterattack. Yep, we're shooting them. Eyes on, eyes on, we see them. So great awareness there by Mr. Knight getting back into the fight and making sure to secure that point and wiping off the Union there and ending that threat. <laughs> Sean Wall emerges from the column. That was so funny, bro. Did you see Sean Wall yeah. running out of the column. Oh, is this another charge yeah, here? I didn't quite see. I didn't see what happened here. CSA now at taking losses. Union about halfway down. Three minutes remaining. Let's zoom out here and kind of see the overall again. CSA mostly consolidated in the center. They had reinforcements now flowing in. And the Union, what's left of these forces over here, are kind of getting it down again. That's why I think they should pull off kind of meet back here with their friendlies and figure out the last attack. They've only got time for one more, really. And in fact, if I was a CSA, I might consider attacking and pushing them off here, at least this element, the uh, 4th West Virginia. So these are the sharps. You want to knock these out if you've got an opportunity to. Hey, West Virginia, where'd the 42nd go? They're dead. 42nd just ran to the northwest. Yeah, northwest over there. Where, where they well, that's not true. They're actually right here. Fuck. All right, form up on the left of the captain. Left of the captain. Yeah, Union has six more soldiers. Alright, so 83rd got bypassed, and now we have a major attack going in. If this is to work, the rest of the Union needs to go in. It's a good attack, but everything's going to go in now and overwhelm the CSA. As the rest going in, there we go. There comes 42nd flooding in. And that's what you need to do. That's exactly good job by this Union team has now consolidated and have captured the point here with pretty much everybody going in. There's some CSA remaining back here. As long as the Union gets reconsolidated here, they can retake the point and they'll be put on taking losses. Decent. Uh, we do have a potential movement here from 1st VA and 20th. Here comes, who is this? Gonzo coming up. Ah, Go yeah, Gonzo. Trying to put everybody in frame here. Okay with the tree in the middle, right? Yeah. So interestingly, the Union has not fully capped yet. And this may prove to be a critical error if these reinforcements arrive in time. I don't think they will. I think the Union's got it, but we'll see. Alright, they took it. So now we're at 22 minutes, so about a uh, third of the way down. Get those quick. Again, I, I have major problems with the way 79th does operations like this. You can skirmish, but if you get to kill that align, you are costing your team very much. Three guys kill that align equals a 15-man line. Killed in formation. 
Like, oh, it's just three men. It's not how it works in this game. No, oh, that's how we want to play. I mean, that's fair enough, but, you know, it's a team game. Like this right here. This, what are you doing? Madness. Madness. Sir Alec Guinness would not approve. So it looks like the uh, Union is going to pull back a little bit from point, maybe try to get the CSA to cap again. That might be the strategy, then try to knock them down to final push. That might be what they're thinking here. On these rocks, a log. Here comes Caddy. Can he get these couple out of lines? Hopefully I hit him. I feel like I did. There are some friendlies out there. Some, somebody just ran off. They got away. Um, oh, they, they're running for the north, 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 east, north, north, east. I can see their red pants. Oh, oh my that, god. That, that didn't kill anybody. Nolan, get over here. Don't Jesus kill Nolan. Christ. Jesus Christ, you're, what the you're, fuck? you're crazy, man. Oh, you're fucking crazy. Oh, Alright, A-third on me, left face, double quick. Dude. Man down. Oh, we're going deeper in. Okay. Let's go. See, now we're starting to see this flanking maneuver here that I was looking for earlier. Oh, damn it! Let's go! Oh, hold on. And it looks like the CSA is not aiming to cap right now, and I think that is wise. They got the Union. They got plenty of time here to try to get the Union down to uh, breaking. And even further, to be honest with you, you got 19 minutes to get him down. We are holding fire, hunt guns, that's when ready. Check! Check. 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 Shift and left, 123rd to those rock. Oh, is that shit? I think that's a yank behind that tree directly north. north no, the CSA needs to be careful. They are capping right now, and I think actually it's dancing. It's actually capping. I think that's a mistake. They capped. I think that was a mistake by the CSA. I don't quite know why they did that. I think they had plenty of time to get them down to breaking at least. So that was, I think, a, a big error by the CSA in my opinion. Half her line. He's like, not half, but a bunch of her guys are also on the cap. No, we ain't here. More targets, boys. Let them up. Here they come on the road, boys. Do right in front of you for game time. Game time, boys. Now, I would say the Union doesn't... I don't think the Union has the... Uh, this might not be as big a deal, to be honest with you. I don't think the Union's going to be able to get them down to... Uh, final push. Well, last stand. You might like game out last second, mate. I thought you died in game. 
Doing taking damage no, 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 right no, no, now means nothing. They're just gonna get it back. That was a desk pop on my end. I'm sorry. Check when ready. Them off the ready. Check when ready, boys. Direct straight to head drop to see him. Dick high, boys. Take aim. Take aim. Aim for me. There you can see the Union's going to retake it. It's not really going to change the field all that much. It's going to waste a little bit of time, but... <laughs> yeah, everything everything left the point is, is Union. All right, one point third. You can see him moving in front of us through the little hole. On or get the... Dude, they've retaken it. they got a little bit of uh, tickets back, but not much. We zoom out here, we can kind of see the Union has set up um, kind of a horseshoe formation here. Trying to have one, I guess you would say. And the CSA is kind of wrapping around it. Um, pulling back again. I think the biggest problem for the Union right now is the lines are going to get very confused here. And they're going to wander off like these three guys here. Who's this? 12th New Jersey wandering into the CSA line here for a lot of tickets. A lot of tickets. See, now the CSA can just push off here, probably on this next charge, and that'll do it. If they want to. Oh, southeast now, southeast. It's, it's too late for that now. You're, those out of lines killed you. It's too late. It's too late, Hood. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. By the time they're going to get shot in the back as they pull back. All the CSA has to do now is charge through and they'll win. Just charge through with everything you got right now and you'll win. Don't stay here. You need to charge. It, okay. Hey, uh. Uh, six hey, uh, the, the, their, their biggest company has no flag, and quick. they, uh, they got no big melee. That means they're gonna be on a break when they go there. Alright, let base, let base, double quick. Again, these out of lines are killing them. You say, oh, what about the out of lines for the CSA? It doesn't matter as much. One's on the attack, one's not. One, you... Tickets matter in this game. Defender has less. You can't be giving away tickets like that. Baby third just charges in. These two guys, they might they might put them on breaking just there. Those two guys right here might do it. We'll see if Caddy can pull it off. Joker's gonna try to get away. Can he make it? No, they got away. That's good. That's what you need to do. That's good. See, that's what you need to do with skirmishers. You need to get away and make sure you don't get killed out of line. I'm gonna go and figure out what the fuck my server settings are for Steam Chat. I don't know why I'm getting all those notifications. It's pissing me off. Nice core leading the attack. I'm not surprised. Pull back, turn around. Pull back, sprint, sprint, sprint. Uncharged Bayos. Sergeant Major, you almost got shot there. So the Union has fully pulled back now. Honestly, all you really got to do is send... If the C Union is going to do this, what I would recommend is mass up the CSA, leave one unit back, charge everybody in, and as soon as you hit breaking, have that one unit come and cap. And the Union will be too busy with that melee to be able to stop it, is what I would recommend at this point. Now again, there's no Steam Chat, and you can see how spread out the CSA is. So organizing a charge like that is exceptionally difficult. It is not easy to do. But, um... Yeah. Oh, well, these guys back here don't need to be. You can move up now. But they might be that reserve element waiting to cap. Alright, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I think 
we're not supposed to hit the main spawn, but uh, it's okay if somebody taps the bulky map first. Which is what we did. So that means and there goes Ten Tennessee. There they go. Easy company. Honestly, if you turtle like this, I don't think there's any problem with you shooting into, you know, what you would consider main. If you're going to pull back like this, you open yourself up to engagement. Again, the CSA needs to be very cognizant of tapping early. Again, just send the attack forward. Even if you die, it doesn't matter. You'll win. You just leave one unit back here, like this unit right here. First VA, come into cap it. Take game. CSA is very close. They're, they're inching on it. Which is good. They just got to be very disciplined. Back, back steps, gentlemen. Back step, back step, back step. Back step. Back step. Back step. So they're, they're, they're right at the edge there on the map. I'm still on line. I still have it. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Back step. Back. Back step to me, boys. They're gonna cap. I think that's a mistake. Oh, you you have it, guys. Why are you? Just back off of it. Just back off of it. There you go. There you go. Now just cap it. There you go. That last volley did it. Don't send everybody. Just no, 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 no. Just send one. You're fine. There you go. You won. So, nice victory there from the CSA. Good, good defensive idea from the Union, but frankly, very poor discipline by several units with a number of Rambos. It's very tough in the woods, but you got to give clear guidance and not allow for that. Yeah, I know it's tough, but it, it's you can't allow those lines to fragment like that. Um, that's what costs you. So, interesting round on Eastwoods. Uh, it's a, always a tough map for Union. And again, I think they had a good idea, but they, uh, a little bit of ill-discipline by a couple units, I think, cost them. It's like, oh, they had more air lines than the CSA. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, they have more tickets, they can't afford it. Alright, got one more map to go.